you might be wondering where Dave has got to the last few weeks, I'll get to cover that a little bit later in the video. In the meantime, whilst I've been bored, effectively, as we've not been out on the bikes, been snowing a lot here as well, I've actually bought a load of stuff in from China. Just I spent about 120 odd quid on Chinese imports of bits and pieces for the GS, just to get them, see what the quality's like, and see how they compare. Uh, Price-wise, they are ridiculously cheap compared to the UK equivalents, roughly a quarter to a fifth of the price. So for example, a headlight guard and 99 pounds from uh, a very well-known German adventure company 17 quid for an identical looking one from uh, China so we'll have a look and see and uh, Dave will no doubt be giving his opinion later on found Dave in his absolute <laughs> element. He's in his workshop making stuff. What are you making Dave? Uh, we're making a, a 72 inch belt sander. You've already got three belt sanders. Yes but this is going to be the ultimate. So belt what sander. are you going to belt sand with this belt it's sander? It's going to be a new one of these you see. A new one of these. And, uh, is this one broken? So, uh, so is this one broken? No no it's just that it's it's wearing out. It needs a better one making. You've only just made this. That was three years ago, that was. You haven't used it since you made it. Haven't you? <laughs> yeah, so this is the workshop, this is. So, it is uh, yeah, I won't give you a tour of the workshop because it's a yeah. highly secure environment. This is <laughs> worse important day on this one. But, God, I love the music, Dave. Yeah, it's a good choice there. Uh, this is uh, Janet Baker. Baker. On a mini disc. Excellent. <laughs> oh, you're such a throwback to the 70s, 90s. Sorry. Hey, Dave, what's the reason you've not been out on the bike much recently? Well, only a small reason. Um, yeah, he's taking all my time at the moment. We've got a uh, house training. So, and, how, uh, how old is this little blighter now? He's about nine weeks now. Yeah, it's a border he's, terrier, isn't it? He's a border terrier. He's a, a blue and tan. And uh, the last one I had was a, a grizzle. So, uh, a bit the same, same colour as his paws, so, really. Yeah. But uh, so, un unfortunately, Charlie um, passed away with the yes. length of time, didn't he? So, Marley is here to yes, replace him. Yes, he's so. replaced him. And, so hopefully we'll be back out on the bike soon. In, yes. in the... <laughs> so I've got, got Dave in his lumberjack outfit here, just um, brought him over to show him my new Chinese accessories, which cost an uh, absolute pittance. So yeah. what do you reckon of the headlight are then, Dave? I think it's absolutely fantastic. I, I cannot believe that I've paid how much? 90, 99 pounds 90, for yours. 90 odd yeah. pounds. And that was 17. And that is exactly the same. So this opens up a moral dilemma, doesn't it? Yes. Because Toratech have clearly designed it. Yeah. And then the Chinese have copied it. Yes. So and I think the problem is I'll have to watch it when I go down to Touratech because I'm going to have to ask them why I can yeah. we can get that for 17 pounds. But I think that's the problem. If it was yeah. 35 quid for the Touratech yeah. one, I'd buy the Touratech one. Yes, of course. I, well, OK, there is a difference. There is a difference. But there's not that much of a difference. Well, yeah, do you know what? I'm looking at the difference, the only difference I can see yeah. is, is the is the Arthur GS Adventure logo, yeah. which yeah. again is probably used without permission. Uh, but if BMW try and get this back off yeah. me, they'll have to catch me first. I mean, uh, I'll probably get a magnet and put it on there, see if it is stainless steel underneath. Yeah, that's that. a good idea. You know. Um, but in saying that, it's powder coated, and these things are like laser cut out. Yeah, and in fairness, uh, Dave, neither of us have our bikes long enough. It's going to no, rust. No, that is true. That is true. <laughs> uh, but I did take my guard off and put it back on my new bike, so it's yeah. going to have two lives. Well, yeah, this is the same as yours. This one that I meant to about eighteen months. The <laughs> design's absolutely identical because this one just pops off as well. Yes, yeah. Just pop out. Yes, and pop you out clean and clean it. Yeah. You can pop, clean pops the out clean and you just uh, pop it back in well, again and you're done. That is absolutely fantastic. Oh, well, they're uh, nice, aren't they? So those are those. Are, I think they're about thirty quid each, something like that. Yeah. And then the ones on the back. These are the ten quid. Oh yeah, they're okay, aren't they? These are the ten pound Chinese equivalents. And are these? Um, is this the uh, indicator that uh, you broke in the garage? A few uh, weeks no, back? that was the one on the front. I was an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> so you've uh, so yeah, bought these after the event, like, but they look good, don't they? Yeah. So it did cost me about forty quid for the indicator, and then you know, yeah. I thought I may as well get the guard. And then yes, that's fairly good there. Yeah. And then the other the other thing is these. Um, these frame guards on the side here. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's just so is that the same guard as I've got on my bike? Will that fit in the middle of mine though? Or not? Uh, or is that be. the complete yeah. guard? 
No, it should. Yeah, no, it's it's all the bit you can see. So it's from there. Oh, I see. It's around there. The bit in up the there. You got, you got all there. the bit. Yeah. Oh, so that's, that's good. Um, yeah, that worked out about fifteen pound a side. So I dread to think what the BMW one cost. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's excellent. That is. What do you think? All right. What do you think of that, then, Marley? A pretty good value, I have to say. Yeah, I was expecting, very good. I was expecting them to be difficult to fit, they were easy, yeah. 30 seconds each. They look exactly the same as the uh, yeah. BMW ones. Yeah, I mean, I, d I wonder if they are, they've just Made scanned copy. and copied them, or if yeah. they're actually original design. And that opens up a bit of an ethical quandary, doesn't yeah. it? So I hope you enjoyed uh, Dave's Midlands ramblings, as usual, and uh, the bits and pieces we've put on the bike. I do appreciate it creates a bit of an ethical dilemma there, because it's cheap Chinese imports versus uh, German design and you have to wonder how much of the crossover there is and how much of it is rip-off and how much of it is flattery. Also just to let you know that uh, Dave and I are heading down to Torotech for a travel weekend which should be a bit of fun. We've done that for the last few years. Just a great chance to hang out in a field and cook stuff on a stove. Um, we are actually going to be planning a route down from the Midlands, a nice route across quite a few country roads into Wales and before we hit the uh, Torotech site. On Saturday we'll be moving up through Wales and stopping in uh, Port Muddock just on the edge of Snowdonia and then riding back through Snowdonia to the Midlands. So if you are interested in the region just drop us a line in the uh, comments. We're open to people accompanying us. Um, uh, we don't charge, just a pint will do. Or for Dave it'll be two and um, just one for me. Hopefully see you all again soon. Cheers, bye. <laughs>